Hi guys, welcome back. This week I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite cookbooks. This was a requested video by Miss Upchurch, so thank you for the suggestion the last couple of weeks that's been sort of in the back of my mind to film this video and it couldn't have come at a better time. Right now I am working on and just finished editing uh, the first part of it, a, a new project that I'm very excited to share with you guys. I'm not going to share with you um, it today, but soon very very soon i finally pulled the trigger on this it's been sort of on the back burner for a while because i am kind of a perfectionist when it comes to what i am working on uh currently and i thought you know what done is better than perfect so we're doing it and so this is actually an easier video for me to shoot for this week so i do appreciate the suggestion and anytime you have a suggestion for a video please let me know because i'm always looking for um what it is that you guys are looking for and, and what uh, sort of brings you back to this channel. What are you um, excited to see from me? And suggestions are super helpful. So I really appreciate you suggesting this video at the absolute perfect time. Now, before we get into the cookbooks themselves, I do wanna just kind of tell you the reason behind me having cookbooks. Okay, I know it seems like you have a cookbook, you're there for the recipe, but that's not necessarily true for me. I am somebody that wants to be continuously inspired in my life, in the kitchen, in my home, how I live my life, how I am doing with myself. I wanna constantly be working, learning, bettering myself, and that's just the sort of person I am. I noticed this in the last few years um, that I am somebody that needs to constantly be learning something new. It doesn't have to be anything big, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, anything like that, um, or even anything for business, but I always need to be learning something. New information has to be coming at me, or I don't feel as fulfilled. So that is just something that I have noticed about myself. And I think honestly, this is a big key to life is continuously finding things that inspire you, that make you feel joyful. And I am a big proponent of bringing beauty into our everyday lives. As you see on this channel, I tried to share with you that um, way of thinking, uh, or at least my viewpoints on that as much as I can here. Um, I am always looking for new inspiration. So when I share with you the cookbooks that I'm going to share with you in just a moment here, I want you to keep that in mind. I'm a food photographer. Um, that's part of what I do for a living. And I love food to cook it and to see it, to uh, shoot it, um, all of those dynamics. So I'm gonna share with you cookbooks that inspire me visually, but also the writing. I'm also a writer and I love the written word. I think it's beautiful. It, it, it's such a, I, I feel it deeply when I read profound uh, things that um, obviously are written from a book and you would be surprised if you've never actually read a cookbook how incredible some of these people, not all, not all, there's a lot of really terribly written cookbooks, but the ones that I'm going to share with you today or some of the ones I'm going to share with you today are written by wonderful writers and they have these great stories that inspire you, they take you to another place in your mind. And um, so that's why I am sharing some of those. So I'm also sharing ones that I have cooked out of. I don't normally cook out of the cookbooks that I have. So uh, I know that kind of sounds funny, but I do, what I do is, so I write recipes as a lot of you know, and I share them here with you um, on top of the other things that I share. But what helps me in the kitchen, what helps keep me sort of inspired is to look and see ideas for food. And it's not necessarily, I don't need their particular recipe, just seeing something will give me an idea to make something new in my own kitchen. So I am not sharing these books because they are the best recipes I've ever come across. I'm sharing them because they're inspirational. They are, some of them do have great recipes that I've actually tried and some of them, for the most part, it's they're great written, they're beautiful. Um, and so I wanna just put that out there. So I don't want you to go get a cookbook and be like, oh, I'm just gonna cook my way out of this cookbook and there's gonna be inspiring recipes because honestly, some of these, I've never cooked anything out of them, but they're just beautiful and I keep going and getting the same cookbook over and over again. And that's what I do is I go to the library with my daughter, probably every, 
week or so, something like that, just depending on what we find the week before to hold us over until the next visit. And we'll both find different books. I'm always in the cookbook aisle. And that's how I know to buy a cookbook, is if I keep checking the same cookbook out, um, then I go and I'll eventually buy it. But if I read it once, it's kind of a great way to test a cookbook is just to go to the library, get it for free. And if you like it, you, you go and you purchase it. And if you don't like it, then you could just check it back in. So that's my little tip for if you're gonna invest in cookbooks. Now this first one was one of those I had to absolutely buy. I kept checking it out. And uh, I was like, I just love staring at this thing. And I have made one or two things out of this, uh, this cookbook. But what it is, is just beautiful. It tells a story, it has a couple of cute stories within it, but the photos in this book, not even just necessarily the food, but it's the lifestyle that's shown in this cookbook. And it's from a fellow YouTuber that a lot of you may already know, and it's Parisian Farm Girl. Um, she has a cookbook. I don't know if you know that or not, but because on her channel, she does a lot of home decor, um, I don't really watch it very often because I'm so busy, but the, from what I've seen of her channel, it's very beautiful and she's always sort of decorating something um, from what I gather. I don't know if she does a lot of cooking on her channel, but if you didn't know, she does have a cookbook and it's one of my all time favorite cookbooks and it's from France to the Farm and um, it's available on Amazon. I'm gonna link all of these books below for you. So if you want to check one of them out and just go ahead and buy it outright, I will leave the link for it. Um, but it's just beautiful. It's beautifully um, laid out. It tells the story of her life in here. The food does look beautiful. I have cooked a couple of um, things from here and was pretty pleased with what I made. Um, I think there's a ricotta pancake um, recipe in here that I really enjoyed. So there are recipes that she has in here that I have tried, but it's really the overall aesthetic of this book that I always go back to. Sometimes I'll just make a cup of tea, especially if I'm having sort of a bad day. I'll sit down and I'll go, I need to be inspired. And I always grab this. I almost always grab this. It's a beautiful book. Um, she did a really great job on it. So that's my first recommendation. Um, on my favorite cookbook. So that's number one. Now we're gonna talk about writing. Nigella Lawson is beautiful. She's obviously famous, right? She's this Food Network chef um, and uh, she's not a chef. I'm sorry, she always talks about how she's a home cook so I shouldn't call her a chef. She's not a chef, um, but she's written so many books. And if you've never actually went out and got one of her books, you I highly recommend it. She is an incredible writer. And uh, one of my favorite of her books, though, I've probably read all of her books, honestly, and I'll just sit there and read. She's a great, great writer. And I, I would say it's even better than the recipe photos that I see in a lot of her books. Not that she's taking her own photos, but that's more of an enjoyable aspect of her cookbooks are the fact that she's just such an incredible writer. She's a great storyteller. And I love um, how she writes about food. It's it's very inspiring. Uh, and so Nigelisma is one that I go back to over and over again as far as Nigella books. Uh, she did a great job on this. This is more of an Italian um, type of cookbook and that's probably why I gravitate towards it most um, out of all of her other cookbooks because I really like to cook uh, Mediterranean style food here. Uh, we do a lot of French food. I do Italian food all the time and I really love Italian cooking and we've also been doing some Greek cooking recently. Um, so I'm kind of into the Greek thing. I love the lemon flavors and the feta and all of that but I go through phases with those three different um, regions and so but but anyway it, this is a great well-written book it does have beautiful photography in it, it as well um, so that's also the enjoyable aspect I've cooked a couple of things out of this um, more so kind of making them my own uh, but what I found was great inspiration in this book great photography and excellent writing 
This next one might surprise you and it surprised me. I picked it up just because there wasn't a lot of books that day that I was finding at the library and I keep checking it out, okay? Um, this is The Artist, The Cook, and The Gardener and it's by Mary Jo Koch. And she's an artist and a cook and this is one that I'm probably gonna end up buying because I have checked this thing out three times in a row and I just love having it. She has really fresh ingredients there and she talks about her life as an artist. And it's such an inspiring book and it was so surprising when I got it. Like I said, I just kind of got it on a whim and was like, oh, I don't really have that many books uh, to look at this week that I could find. And I just grabbed it and I'm so glad I did. It's a beautiful book. Um, her photography is pretty good in here. Um, the food looks absolutely beautiful, but it's a gardener like myself. I'm a gardener and she likes to cook out of her garden. She shares her garden with you and she goes through all these very fresh, vibrant recipes and she also talks about like I said her life as an artist and how she shares her recipes and her garden with her students and there's little stories throughout here that I really enjoy and again this is one that I grab almost as um, much as I grab Parisian Farm Girls book so check it out it's a great one um, either at the library or by looking at the link below so there's that one this next lady is a husband and wife team that you might know of. They're becoming pretty big um, on Instagram, uh, but they are Mimi Thorson and Odur, Odur Thorson. He's the photographer um, and she's the writer for the cookbooks. And I first got a France kitchen um, and checked this thing out and I kept checking it out. It is phenomenal. It's beautiful. His photography is incredible. Her recipes are, uh, are pretty simple to follow. Um, not that I've cooked a lot of them. I've cooked a few of them and I've been um, pleasantly surprised because when you're cooking something like a French cookbook, sometimes they have um, ingredients that aren't available to us here in the States as, as easily as some of these other books. So I, I do find though that she does have pretty um, simple ingredients throughout the books that she writes, but I have to tell you, they are so inspiring. The photography, like I said, her husband is absolutely talented. She's also talented as well, writing these recipes and writing um, her short stories throughout there, and it really engrosses you into their lifestyle in France. And then what happened is she moved to Italy and she wrote another cookbook. <laughs> And I actually bought this one because I knew the French one was so good. And of course it's Italian and that's one of my favorite types of food to cook. So I had to get it. I have made a couple of things from here and I was happy with them. Uh, but I'm just inspired by the beautiful photography in this book, the beautiful writing. And it uh, again engrosses you in their life and you feel so inspired when you uh, read through this book. So it's another great one to check out um, and Friends to the Farm is just it's gorgeous both of these books you you can't go wrong with keeping on the Italian theme again I cook a lot of Italian food and I want to cook a very authentic Italian food I don't want to cook Americanized Italian so I get a lot of foreign books and go through them and uh, I'm always learning like I said so I'm taking I take classes online sometimes I've taken several master classes and other classes that were offered by um, teachers and I always try to find somebody that's very authentic and maybe possibly um, in Italy um, that's going to teach me the best techniques and the most authentic techniques so that I'm cooking um, authentically and I want to know those techniques because of course I write recipes and that's sort of where I'm leaning to on my blog um, is the kind of food that I really enjoy making and the lifestyle that we have here so I, I like the imagery and all of that sort of thing when it comes along Along with the food and cooking from the garden they're very big on fresh ingredients and cooking from a garden and that's exactly what I do every day but this cookbook is not only beautiful but it has wonderful recipes in it and hers are a little bit different she does a great job at ingredients these are I haven't come across a recipe yet I'm not saying there's none in this book but I haven't come across a recipe yet in this book that had something I just couldn't get my hands on so it's called Italian Country Cooking. And again, the imagery is beautiful. And she writes a really sweet story in here. And there's a lot of stories throughout that are very inspiring and fun to read. And I really enjoy this cookbook. I've, I've checked this one out a couple times. I don't know if it's gonna be a buyer, but it's pretty darn close. 
Um, so I, if it's one more time, I think I'll go buy the actual book. <laughs> I think that's my, my thing. If I check you out three times, then I'm buying it. All right, so that is it for today's video. That's the end of my list of my favorite cookbooks. I hope you've enjoyed uh, checking them out with me today. Again, you can find the links for each of them below. And I also want to mention, it's been a few months since I've checked my P.O. box. I used to go to the mailbox quite often here, um, but I slipped on that and stopped going and haven't been since December. And so for those of you that have sent me notes, Christmas cards, birthday cards, and any letter that you've written, I have now received them and I promise I will go to the mailbox once or twice a month at the very least. And I want to thank you so much for those of you that have sent me messages and cards and birthday cards. Um, and I want to tell you how much I appreciate that and I finally checked the mail. So if I didn't respond to you or I didn't mention them in the comments when you commented to a video, I apologize. It's because I hadn't gotten it yet. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys on the next one.